Hi, so um, last time I spoke about searching Confluence from an external website. This time what we've done is we've forked the Confluence code, which was yay big, really small, and we've swapped it so that you can do it now, search Jira, it says Confluence here, but Jira from an external PHP website. Um, so yeah, so what you do is you type in Jira, it goes away, queries an external Jira. It's actually querying this URL here. Should we have a look? Is Jira's REST APIs and it's doing a JQL query on that REST API. And printing, we got the, the issue link, the project link, and some details and it's printing out the first 10, though it could print out all of them if we so wanted to. So what does the code look like? Very similar to before. We have a little project here. It's got a whole pile of stuff in it that I've just taken from Twitter bootstrap examples. The only thing we're really interested in is the index.php, which looks like this. It's got a load of nasty inline styles naughty and down here we are setting a query um, string checking to see whether it's there's a, a query parameter stripping the tags off it for basic some kind of basic security um, and then dropping it into the input input field so that if there's something there it pastes it nicely into there and then we're doing some, doing a little bit of searching. So we're taking the query and we're wrapping it into some JQL. So we've got summary tilde query or description tilde query or comment tilde query. And we're raw URL encoding that. And then we're building up a, um, a URL to, to, um, to go against. So the base URL is jira.alassian.com um, and we're appending slash rest slash API slash two slash search question mark jql equals query and max results equals 10 because I only want the first 10 and we're putting ten timestamp on it for the hell of it. If you want to enable authenticated search you can uncomment that. And then we here's the business. We go and get the contents of the file. We JSON decode them. We get the results and put the response um, issues, and we put them into this results um, here. Now we're looping through them. So for each results as an item, we're building up the base URL, browse, and the item key to get the href. Then we're putting in the the key and the summary to build up some kind of description, and then we're saying it's in project and giving it the project name and a link to the project. Putting some little bit of meta in here, so we've got what issue type it is, who it's open by, and who it's assigned to, and then we're also spitting out the description, and then we're looping through those. And printing them out so that's what we get it's really straightforward um, so back here we can have a look so if I'm going to oh, I'm going to search for confluence and rails and you can see that confluence in rails so we can open this up and it links to this hilarious um, issue about re-implementing confluence in Ruby on rails Seems like a good idea, right? Um, and there you go. That's a really straightforward way of searching Jira from outside of Jira in an external PHP website. Um, the source code is on Bitbucket over here. Um, fork it, do what you will. Make it more secure. Thanks.